pathoproof mastitis PCR assay is easy to use. The testing follows a straightforward protocol including DNA extraction, real-time PCR, and analysis of results. 350 microliters of fresh or preserved milk is used for mastitis testing with the pathoproof assay. The bacterial DNA in the milk sample is first separated from all other components, including proteins and lipids. After adding a lysis reagent, the sample is incubated to break up cell walls and to release the bacterial DNA. Subsequently, the samples are centrifuged at high speed, separating the lipids from the aqueous phase containing the DNA. The DNA is bound to a membrane inside the tube and all other components were removed with washing buffers. All detected bacteria can be reported. There are no mixed growth results. In the last step, the DNA is released from the membrane with an elution buffer. The assay is equally sensitive for viable and growth-inhibited bacteria, and consequently, the pathoproof assay gives 40% fewer false negative results because it avoids the problem of growth failure of inhibited cells, making it the most accurate mastitis test available. Purified bacterial DNA is now ready for detection with real-time PCR, or it can be placed into long-term storage. The bacterial DNA is mixed with PCR reagents including buffer, enzymes, and specific short DNA fragments. These components are supplied as a master mix, so the PCR setup takes only a few minutes. In the real-time PCR step, the bacterial DNA is amplified to a detectable level, allowing the identification of the different bacteria present in the sample. DNA is amplified and detected simultaneously using a real-time PCR instrument. The user needs only to load the samples into the instrument and start the analysis. When the PCR run is finished, the results can be easily analyzed using the pathoproof mastitis software. The fluorescent signal increases when the bacterial DNA is amplified, producing a characteristic curve. The software automatically creates assay reports from these curves, giving semi-quantitative results. If one bacterial species is present in over 90% of the total bacterial load, then this primary pathogen is also reported. <laughs> 